Hi guys, happy Wednesday to you. Well, today I'm standing in my dining room and we're gonna be doing something just a little bit different today. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you guys know that I used to be the Tuscan home. My home was basically decked out in all of Tuscan and I loved it, I loved it. And as I was, when I was, when I was in my blogging days, I noticed that every, all the bloggers started phasing Tuscan out and on into farmhouse. And I started, as much as I love Tuscan, I thought, well, my goodness, am, is my home looking dated? Should, do I need to, to go with the trend? You know, it's foolish me. I always go, I, I always, I don't say I go with the trends all the time, but I started to kind of phase out of Tuscan style and started to bring in lighter, brighter colors. You ultimately will end up reverting back to what you love, just saying. So yeah, I don't recommend following all the trends because if you're like me and you like your earthy colors and you like iron and pottery and, and greenery, you will eventually go back to it because that's what you love. So what I'm trying to say is everyone, today I am going to try to transform this room into a modern Tuscan farmhouse dining room. It will be my take on Tuscan farmhouse, my style. So let's see if this works. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it'll work. And I have to tell you guys, as much as I love farmhouse, I, I'm starting to see it, it phase out the same way I started to see Tuscan style phase out. So, you know how everybody was like, oh, go light and bright, go light and bright. Now I'm starting to see colors in kitchens, kitchens with color on the cabinets, um, bright colors, like bright green, not, not neon green, but like, like a real dark, deep green and dark, deep blues and dark burgundies. I'm starting to see that in magazines. I'm starting to see that in model homes. So I, I think the, I think it's starting to change, you know? And so anyway, I, I'm gonna, that's why you guys, I keep what I have because I know it'll eventually come back somehow, some way with a different spin on it. You know what I mean? So anyway, we're bringing Tuscan farmhouse to this room. And when I say modern, it's because, um, I had a moment of insanity on Sunday. Let me explain. Well, okay, I'll go ahead and explain. I, I'm sorry, you guys, I just can't help myself. Anyway, let me get to the point. I came in here and I looked around and I was like, oh dear, oh dear Lord, what to do about that chandelier that is not hanging correctly from the ceiling? Now they say the builder centered the chandelier to the room. I disagree. I totally disagree and I'll explain why. Right here, we have a bump out. This bump out goes like this and then like this. I think he centered it from, I think he centered it from over here, right at that corner to way over there. I think he did that is what I think he did and he shouldn't have done that. What he should have done is center the light from here over um, because when I say I had a moment of insanity, I did. I literally came in here. I got my Adams Family hutch that used to be right here. I, I drug it into the kitchen area. I took another table out of here and I was like, well, gosh darn it, I am gonna make this room work if it's the last thing I do. And if I have to lose furniture over it, I will. So guess what? It didn't work because he did not center this properly. So I took everything out. I literally turned my table vertically, sideways, you know, diagonally. I worked it every way I could. I even pushed it over so that it would be centered on there and it did not look right. It left that side of the room, it wasn't balanced it, and I'm very symmetrical. So that whole side of the room over there had way too much space and I felt like the table was jam packed over here. So I called my husband in and I said, see that? He goes, yeah, I go, take it down, please take it down. I'm gonna lose it. Um, if I have to hang on it and bring it down, I will do it. And he goes, why do you wanna do that? And I said, you know why? It's not centered, it's just not centered on this table. 
He said, yeah, I know, I get it. I said, can we just hire an electrician? He goes, nope, I don't wanna do that because number one, it's gonna cost a fortune. We don't even know if those joists or whatever, um, if it's gonna be able to be moved over and then we're gonna have to hire a painter to come patch and putty and repair. Out here in Virginia, they do all the walls in a flat paint. Um, so if you have to do any kind of repair, basically you have to paint the whole wall or the whole ceiling. And he just doesn't want to do it, guys. He doesn't want to do it and he doesn't want to pay for it. So, and I get it because it's, it's expensive. It really is. So the other option was just take it down, take it down. So what I told him, I said, let's just take it down. We'll purchase a plate on Amazon. We'll put the white plate up where the chandelier hang, hung and I'll have to figure out another way to bring lighting in here and make it work. Or my next option was to get like a candle chandelier and I have like three or four down there. In the basement, is it exactly what I would like in here? No, no it's not, but sometimes you gotta work with what you have. So I'm toying with that idea. He, he's not so fond of that idea, but I don't know that I can go a, you know, through fall without a chandelier. I mean, who does that, right? I mean, all right, I've got my blooming lamps, which I love, I'm keeping them. I've brought Mr. Rooster back, love him. Um, I am bringing some Tuscan elements in and um, let's get started, let's do it. Forgot to mention, I moved this. This piece right here used to be in my bay window. Guys, my room is a mess, so please excuse it, but it used to be in that window. And I need to get curtains. I just haven't found any I like, so I'm not gonna purchase something just to have it. I gotta love it. So I'm gonna hold off on the curtains for now. Um, but yeah, so anyway, this, sorry, this piece was way over there. I moved it. Um, I bought another cabinet yesterday, actually two. I don't know which one I'm gonna put in the bay window, but I, I have to have a light in the window. It just says home to me, right? So, okay, anyway, let's, let's get started. I'm gonna hang my rooster. I have these two pieces that I got from Etsy um, when we first moved in. I love them. I like the wreaths on them for summer still. Um, I, I'm gonna keep them, and I don't wanna put more holes in the wall. My husband will kill me. He knows, he know, he's been with me for so long and he's had to patch many of walls due to my decorating. So I, I just don't wanna move them. I know I should, but I just can't do it. I don't wanna hear it. So I'm leaving those and then I'm gonna add my rooster and this metal wall embellishment from Hobby Lobby. All right guys, I'm gonna hang my little rooster pit. takes me back to the Tuscan days, but I got this at Hobby Lobby in, during the springtime in the spring shop. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna hang it above my picture the way I'm used to during the Tuscan days. A wall embellishment of a, over a picture was always like classic Tuscan. Let's get this hung. Having to climb on top of my table. actually have little holes on each side so that um, it doesn't get off kilter. And I can see that this got a little bent in my storage room. Shame on me. So I need to add two more nails so it doesn't, you know when kids are running around the vibration of walking around in the house, you don't want to have it, you don't want to constantly be fixing that. So I gotta get two more nails. Okay guys, I got everything hung and I'm loving it, totally, totally loving it. I feel so at home in here, like the good old days. And uh, anyway, I've got this 
rooster here. And I want to clean this off today. This is my favorite wood cleaner, Method Wood for Good Daily Clean. Love this stuff. It smells nice and fresh and it really does a good job getting your furniture shiny and conditioned. So I like it. Love it. Sorry, I know I should have done this off camera, but as you guys know, when I find something I love, I share it. Okay, looks pretty to me. Now, I'm trying to decide what to do here. Decisions. Mr. Rooster's gonna have to go this way. I'm gonna move these over. Gotta have my rooster. Love this guy. Love him. Had him for years. Home goods. $29.99. Still have the sticker on. By the way, guys, if you ever decide to have a garage sale, I know some people knock me for keeping stickers on, but if I do do a garage sale, people feel like they're getting a great buy when they see what I spent for something. And then I knock it way down. They're like, oh, that's a great deal. So anyway, just a little tip. Keep the stickers on. Who's gonna see them anyway, right? Okay. Now let's decide what to do. Another reason I keep my stickers on is for my husband. When he goes, oh, that looks expensive. When did you buy that? And I'm like, oh, you noticed. I've had it for like a month. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, why does it take men so long to notice these things? I don't get it. Um, Cause I notice things like that. But uh, anyway, he'll be like, well, what'd you spend on that? And I'll say, ah, $9.99. No way, Liz, that looks like it, it's at least $29. Really? Come look, come look. And I'll show him the sticker. And he's like, wow, you really are a bargain shopper. I'm like, I told you, I told you. All that stuff in my storage room, it's cheap junk. It really is, but it's my junk. So I have a lot going on on this wall. I I kept my other walls very simple. This is more of a focal point wall and because I don't have a chandelier, I'm going big on my wall and I don't care, I love it. Again, do what you love, do what you love. But I like lots of stuff. I don't like just one picture. I'm like, boring. I like to see lots of things visually. Anyway, that's just who I am, anyway. Um, because I've got a lot going on here, I need to keep this a little bit more simplistic and see this is very busy, but it's pretty. So I'm going to probably do rooster and maybe one or two more things and that's it. We're going to keep it simple. I wonder if I can make these work because I do love these. I wonder if I can make this work. So I scoot this over. And then maybe something pretty here. Hmm. I gotta go find some greenery. All right, guys, the garden balls on the candlesticks. It's too much. Yep, sometimes too much is just too much. Went down to my storage room. Where did I get this? I don't know what I got, where I got this, but this was originally $24.99 and I got it for $7. See, I'm a bargain shopper, guys, I told ya. Anyway, it's Tuscan style. And I think I'm gonna put my rooster in the tray. And then I'm gonna add some ivy. I love ivy, I used to use this all the time when I decorated for, in the Tuscan style. And I just love it. And I got this at Hobby Lobby years and years and years ago. And I think I'm just gonna set him in the tray, like so. I may need to think on this. All right, so here's Mr. Rooster. We've got some greenery right here. I might just dress him up a little bit with some Put berries, the little put berry wreath. 
and it kind of matches my uh, white wreaths up there. You can see those. So anyway, maybe I'll just put him center stage. So I have some hydrangeas and I was thinking, hey, maybe this, you know, would be a nice, gosh, you guys can't even see, nice pop of color to kind of go with the, uh, the painting. So I might just plop a couple in here just to add a little bit more texture. Maybe keep them contained just to this one corner since it is kind of sparse. Oh, you guys can't even see. I'm so sorry. I kind of like it. Let me step back and look. All right, guys, I like it. I really do. And then I just added this little I don't know, little house kind of a looking thing and pop the candle in it and I think it looks kind of cute. I really do. So this is done. Now I need to try to bring in that big cabinet I bought yesterday because I really want it to go over here and then we can work on that and then I need to do a centerpiece for my table, clean up and vacuum and then I can show you the final look minus the chandelier. I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys, but I'm going to show you what it looks like anyway. I will. And this is what it looks like so far. I just love my blooming lamps. They just make me happy. They're so cute and cheerful looking with those pops of yellow. And so I brought a yellow candle in over here to kind of go with that. little Mr. Rooster. And my other blooming lamp. Okay guys, this is my new cabinet. This is not the cabinet I intended to go in this place it's it's outside and it is far too heavy for me to bring in but this one I was able to bring in all by myself so I thought oh what the heck let's just see what it looks like I might like it so anyway I got this at Hobby Lobby and it was only $71.24 and um, the original price $284.99 you open it up and it's got um, you know a decent amount of storage so I love that I want if I want I could um, you know put my some of my dishes that I like to decorate within there and now I know a lot of people are gonna say that doesn't go with your furniture and or, it's too casual for your dining room guys I am not my whole family, we're not, um, we're not fancy schmancy people. We like to keep things laid back and comfortable. So this is, even though it's the formal dining, dining room, it's going to be sort of informal, but cute. And also too, I don't like to have my furniture always matchy matchy. So even though I've got a dark piece there and I've got this over here and you can see my chairs are like a different wood. Um, you know, it doesn't bother me any. All right, this is what I'm thinking. I got this lantern at Home Goods the other day. Oh gosh, they don't have the price on, but I believe it was $24 or $29, I can't remember. And then um, I stopped next door at Pier 1 Imports and I got these cute little um, candle holders and then I got this little garden ball on sale um they only had one it's so cute too um anyway so i'm thinking um i don't want to put a lamp as much as i really wanted to i think it'd be too much it'd be competing with this so i think what i'm going to do is stick a whole bunch of candles in that lantern put them on um, a timer so i they can glow through the window at night and then i'll just decorate with accessories next to it but 
I'm really liking that. I think it's cute. Okay guys, I've had this um, Better Homes and Gardens LED flameless candle set. I've had it since Christmas sitting in my hutch. I completely forgot about it and just found it the other day. So, and you can see it comes with a remote. So I think I'm gonna just set, keep it simple and put three candles in that lantern if I can squeeze them in. And that'll do it for that lantern. So these are actually nice. When I opened it up, they smell like um, vanilla. They actually smell like a real candle. And, uh, and then they take uh, AA batteries. All right, so it comes with a little remote and um, it's got an on and off button and check it out. How cool is that? We shut them off. There you go. On, off. Perfect for the front window. Let's give this a try. I love it. I actually, I think I have some sort of a pedestal uh, down in my storage room that would kind of like, it's kind of like, like a little uh, cake platter, uh, but I wanna find one that's kind of rustic looking or metal. Um, and then maybe I can elevate all of these and then maybe put some cute greenery or, or something down there. And um, anyway, it's bright right now. So, you know, if I turn it off, I turn it on, but at night it will look cute. It'll look really cute. And then I can just slip the remote under here. Well, I'll push it in further. You won't even see it it's there. And then when I want to turn them on, I just reach under or turn them off or turn them on. Easy peasy. So I just put a wreath back there for now and left my candles there. I think it looks kind of cute. Almost like a little terrarium. Okay, guys, well, this is gonna do it for me today. I'm sorry if it was kind of a short video. Um, kids are all home. They're all being crazy and laughing right now, which is fine, but it keeps interfering with my video. So I'm gonna shut this one down and come back and see me Friday, and hopefully I'll have this all wrapped up. So this will be dining room part one, and Friday will be dining part two, if that makes sense. All right, guys, love you guys. Thanks for stopping by, bye.